this is your first time here. Isn't that crazy? We've run into each other places and I know. said hello. I've been trying to get in forever. Don't know why. <laughs> I don't, it's not my fault. I'm so sorry. All right, who do but we have to talk you're to? here now, and that's all that matters. Yeah. You're so great on Big Little Lies. Oh, thank you. You're so great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, does that mean it's not coming back because you have another show? Or no, it, I, it, we don't. I don't know the answer. People keep on asking me, and I don't. I, I hope so. Would you be able to do both shows? Yeah, I think oh, so. Good. Well, good for you. Thank to have you. Two shows going. That's good. And then you got nominated for a SAG award for yeah, an ensemble, for right? Ensemble. That's, yeah. That's great. Really, That'll be really fun cool. to see everybody. Um, it, but it's such a great show, and Thank and you. I'm excited that I'm going to see you in something else now too. Thank you. So your dad, Lenny Kravitz, has yes. been here many times. Um, that's what he gets the invite. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's going on. He could have brought you along. What what's that like to say your dad is Lenny Kravitz? Um, oh my God, that's. I mean, how cool is? It's cool. He's cool. I mean, I love him for different reasons. You know, he's yeah. just he's a really good father and a good person and a good yeah. artist. Yeah. Um, and it also loves a netted shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and tiny little low pants. Yeah, like that's yeah. normal. That's like what everyone's that's dad what looks every like, right? Everyone's dad looks like that. That's totally yeah. normal. You, you probably, because you don't know any different, you probably just, that was just your dad, like, right? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really realize there was a difference until he started picking me up from school and <laughs> I looked at other people's dads and looked at my dads and I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I got that dad. That's different dad. Um, and you just got married. Congratulations! Thank you. The wedding looks beautiful. Thank you. I mean, it was special. Really beautiful. All right. So uh, you went on stage with your dad recently. I, have you done that before? No. He he always kind of asked me to do it, and I was always I just get I get nervous. Um, but my my mother used to play. Wait, the, you get nervous. I get nervous. Aren't I'm you nervous a, right now. Steve are, Harvey just told me to take a deep breath backstage. Uh, <laughs> um, but, but aren't you in a band? I, I'm not in a band anymore, but I've, I've, I've performed before, and I just, I just get stage fright. I'm you still get stage fright, anyway. All right, so you went on stage and you played tambourine? I did, so my mother used to play tambourine when he would play the song Let Love Rule, and so he said, will you do that like your mother used to? And I, it made me pretty emotional, actually, so I did it. That's so cool. I was cool. nervous, but I did it. And where was that? <laughs> that, was, um, that was in New York. That was in New York. I forget what venue. But... Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. All right. So the Golden Globes uh, were uh, weeks ago, and um, <laughs> congratulations and, on your award. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you were great. Thank you. And uh, you you went on stage with your stepdad. Yes. Uh, apparently, all I do is get on stage with, with my dad or stepdad. My dad, <laughs> my dad figures. Jason Momoa, who is also a cool stepdad. He is. He's the sweetest guy in the world. Isn't he though? He's just uh, he's so sweet. I know, gentle giant. But he went. Uh, it, it went. People went crazy because he took his shirt off at the table. I know, which is funny because so. He he did the same thing at our wedding where he had a tank top under the, you know, under the jacket. And, but as you can see in the photo, my mother was cold, which is why he took his jacket off. So I thought that was pretty sweet, actually. That is sweet and thoughtful for everyone in the room to look at that, too. <laughs> He's a sweet, thoughtful man. Just a sweet, thoughtful guy with, you know, right. large. Large arms. With just a, a <laughs> large, large arms. All right, H High Fidelity, what yes. is this about? So High Fidelity, it's based off a book written by Nick Hornby um, about a person that owns a record store and um, she's going through a breakup and she wants to understand why all her breakups end in disaster. So she goes back to her top five break, heartbreaks and um, tries to figure out what went wrong in her relationships. Um, all right, and this is very exciting. I, I just found this out today. I don't know if, I, if, if I, everyone else knows this, but you're about to start uh, filming. You're going to be in the Batman movie, yes. and you are? Catwoman. <laughs> wow. Yeah, nervous. I was actually, I was sitting at the, at the Globes with David Kelly because he you know, writes our show and Michelle Pfeiffer, and I was... Bowing to the queen, um, yeah. nervous to be in her in her presence now. And you're flying out tonight yeah. to London to start, right? Yes. Have yeah. you had a costume fitting yet? We've had many. It's going it's going really well. It's very exciting, and I've been training a ton too, which has been great and hard. And I bet it's very physical. Very physical. I come home just limping every day. It's very it's actually wow. Pathetic. <laughs> but that's I'm so excited. So you're leaving tonight to start, and and I can't wait to see that. Thank that's you. great. Yeah. Congratulations. High Fidelity premieres February 14th on Hulu. We'll be right back.